Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 17th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the while loop in Python. So the while loop is used to execute a statement or a bunch of statements one or more times on the basis of a condition, right? So what we're going to do in this tutorial is check out very simple application of the while loop. So we're going to display numbers from, uh, you know, one to 10 on screen and uh, we're going to display a message uh, along with the number uh, on uh, 10 different lines, right? So let's just see how we're going to do that. So the first thing that you need to uh, do if you're interested in using the while loop is you need to have a control variable. So I'm going to have a variable in my program that I'm going to call var or var and I'll give it the value one, right? Because we want to start printing numbers one onwards. On the next line, I'll type in the keyword while that's W H I L E. And within parentheses, I'll have a condition for my loop. So I want this loop to execute till the variable V A R reaches the value 10, right? So I'll have my condition as var less than equal to 10. And then after the closing parentheses, I'll type in a colon. And uh, on the next line, I'll have a print statement that first displays the message hi, I am and then uh, after the second double quotation mark, I'll have uh, a comma and then I'll type in VAR, right? So uh, with the value of VAR as one, we are going to see the message, hi, I am one. And then if the value of VAR changes to two, if it's going to change because we're going to update it inside the body of while, then uh, we'll see the message, hi, I am two, so on and so forth till 10, right? So on the next line, as I said, we will have to update the value of VAR and we're going to do this uh, using var equals var plus one, right? So we want the value to be incremented by one in each iteration of the loop. Right? Those of you who have, uh, you know, a programming experience in some other language, you know, for you guys, this must be kid stuff. And uh, those of you who are checking the while loop for the first time, you know, this is really simple. It's just that these two statements are going to get executed over and over again till the time this condition evaluates to true, right? So it's as long as this condition evaluates to true, these statements are going to get executed. Right. And uh, then we are going to get outside the while block and we're going to simply do that using the backspace key and getting on the same level as while. I'm going to have a print function here and uh, I'm not going to display anything using it. I'll just uh, have an empty print function because I want a new line uh, on my output screen. And then I'll have another print function to display the message goodbye just to show you guys that we are outside the body of while. And, uh, you know, this statement or, you know, even this print function is not going to execute 10 times, it's just going to execute once, right? So I'll save the file and uh, when I run the program, I see this output, hi, I am one, hi, I am two, I am three, I am four, up till I am 10 and then I see a new line and then the message goodbye, right? So this is so cool, you know, because uh, a lot of times it happens that we have to do something over and over again in uh, a program and uh, the while loop is a fantastic loop. It's not my favorite loop in Python, but in other languages, I use while more than any other loop, right? So uh, another thing that we're gonna check out is what happens if you exclude the you know statement that updates your control variable in a while loop, right? So in that case, we run into an infinite loop and uh, let me just remove the statement, save the file and execute the program and show you guys what an infinite loop is. So when I run it, I see the message, I am one, and I see it over and over again. And you know, the the program is just, you know, executing, like it's not stopping. And that is because the value of the control variable is not getting updated. So, you know, we're never going to get outside the body of while. And uh, if you want to stop such a program, then you have to press control and C and it happens, you know, it's very normal. A lot of times it happens that programmers, um, you know, just forget to update the control variable. It can happen, you know, if you're in a hurry or something. So um, the infinite loop is also useful. You know, there will be situations wherein you want, uh, you know, the while statement to keep on uh, running as long as uh, the user doesn't do something, right? So in, in those events, you know, for instance, if you're doing servlet programming or something, you know, those are higher order concepts. So I'm not gonna discuss servlet programming now, but you know, if you have uh, such a thing or if you want to display the menu again and again, and you know, on the basis of uh, the actions of the user, you want to branch control to other parts of your program. You know, even in those cases, you, you have uh, the while statement and uh, you know, that doesn't have the control variable being updated. So 
that's it for now in the next tutorial we are going to check out something interesting again and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, i'll see you soon